Um, so, Minister, I welcome the bill and will be supporting the bill, and I particularly welcome the fact that there are 24 new judges coming in in, in weeks, a few weeks' time, and a further 20 to follow. And I suppose I particularly welcome that they are for both the, the lower courts for the district and the circuit court, um, because I think there has been an increase in judges in the last decade, but more for the, the higher courts. And I suppose the reason I welcome it for the lower courts is that um, most of the cases that are brought to my attention are family law cases and domestic abuse cases. And the, the, the delays in the court in dealing with these is having a, a, a terrible effect on families. So where a family uh, a breakdown occurs and whether they're waiting for um, judicial separation or uh, a divorce, the longer it takes and the more judgments that, that are held, um, the harder it is on the, the, the two people and indeed the children if there are any. In relation to domestic violence cases, I mean, um, people are seeking interim barring orders and they get those for I think a period of eight days. And it was normal practice then to go back to court to seek the, 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 the final order. Um, it is taking up to four months in some areas. I know in my own area of Cavan, it's 12 weeks you have to wait before you get the, the, uh, either the safety order or the barring order. And what this is uh, resulting in is um, trauma being compounded on, on mostly women and children. Um, some are being forced to go back to an unsafe situation because they've nowhere else to go, or they're putting um, a lot of pressure on refuge spaces and taking up those spaces for longer than they should need to. So I will welcome the fact if there are more judges that, that this will be actually addressed. Um, there are other issues in the area of family law that need to be reviewed. I know they're not dealt with under this bill, but the in-camera rule, for example, it allows perpetrators of domestic violence to hide their identity, even where in some cases the victim or survivor is quite happy to go public. And um, this has been described by some domestic violence support groups as a paradise for abusers. So I understand the need for the in-camera rule, but I do feel it is benefiting abusers in many cases um, who are oftentimes projected as pillars of society and do not want to be seen in their true form. Um, judges and court staff need training in the area of domestic violence. Um, I have a number of examples. Uh, one recently where a young woman who was hospitalised as a result of a serious assault by her partner for the second time, and there had been other incidents of abuse as well as that. And she finally felt strong enough and brave enough to go and seek a barring order. When she went to the judge, he said, I'll give you a protection order. And then if, if your partner breaches that protection order, you can ring the guards and have them arrested and removed from the property. She could not return to that home because she was afraid that she would not be alive to make that phone call if she went back. It, I mean, there was evidence there that he'd already assaulted her very, very seriously on a number of occasions. She should have been able to get a barring order. Another woman, an older woman who had put up with years of abuse and control, finally again felt strong enough to go to a judge and seek a barring order. The judge said to her, well, it was hardly that serious if it took you this long to actually report it. That is a disgraceful attitude and needs to be addressed. Um, also, maintenance issues, I think they need to be taken out of the court system altogether. Um, going through the court again is mostly women and children who are forced to go back. It is time consuming, it is expensive and it has been used by abusers as a way of continuing to exert control over their former partner. So I think we need to look at another mechanism outside of the court system to deal with the non-payment of maintenance and not forcing people back in and the re-traumatisation of facing a, a former partner over the non-payment of maintenance. Um, so the, the other proposals within the bill, such as uh, judicial resources, planning model and more flexible working arrangements are a positive. Um, judges need to have a clear career path and the right level of specialisation, so especially in areas such as commercial law, family law and as I talked about domestic um, abuse. Um, to finish what I believe the bill could have gone further, it does broadly take into consideration the recommendations of the OECD and the Judicial Planning Working Group and therefore I will be supporting it.